Hello guys and welcome back to more Tomb Raider 1 Remastered. So last time out we beat the Lost Valley and we discovered that dinosaurs are still a thing. Well, not so much anymore since we've like, you know, killed a bunch of them. And we are now here in the Tomb of Koalapek, which is where um, Miss Jacqueline Nettler asked us to come and steal the uh, the Skion from Koalapek himself. Um... How many secrets do we have in this level? I don't think there's very many. Three and eight pickups. Hopefully we will find all of them. I think I know where they all are. So, yeah. It's a very short level, this one. But yeah, so Koalapek is one of the... Or he was, should I say, one of the rulers of Atlantis. And we're here to rob him. <laughs> we come to his tomb to rob him. And this is it. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Did it look as nice in 96? It still looked nice in 96. Not uh, not as nice, but there we go. Right, well, because Koalapak was a crafty bastard, he has a trap up here, which we're going to deal with first before we do anything. There's a boulder, which we can tempt. And get it out of the way, because that will save time later and stress. If you leave that till later, it's very annoying. So, yeah. And also... We'll get a, a sneak peek to of what we're after, because um, here it is. That's the ski on. If we had a really, really long stick, we could just get it now and save a lot of bother. But apparently, we didn't bring one, so we'll have to go do it the old-fashioned way. But yeah, so Qualipic, you know, he, he's got the ski on, and we're gonna nick it because we're a little bit whoa, a little bit way. And uh, we are going to use our shotgun also for the first time, because once we pull this lever, we're going to have some problems. Two problems. So it appears we haven't killed all the dinosaurs. There's two raptors. Come on, you bastards. Come on. Whoop. Okay, took damage ever so slightly. He bit me a little bit. Switch back to pistols, save one ammo. Yeah, not much damage at all. I would have guessed that a raptor bite would have done more damage than that. That's like the equivalent of what I would say the kind of damage you'd take from banging your elbow on a coffee table. I don't know, that sounds like it would hurt. Right, so we've got these three rooms with three different... Oh, I don't even know what you'd call them, trials? They're not really trials, puzzles, whatever. Some of them are really easy. We'll go from left to right. Though I can't remember which is in which. One of them... Which is this one. <laughs> one of them actually requires a bit of effort. And this is this one. The other two are piece of piss. Not that this one's difficult, but... Um, uh, I don't know if we need to pull that, actually. Oh, well, I've done it now. Uh, yeah, basically, we just need to move some blocks to get to the other side of the room in this one. Nothing too bad. We can do any, We can take on anything that Koalapek throws at us. I mean, he's, the, he's not even the ruler of Atlantis. He's one of three. He's the co-chief, if you will. Co-chief. Co-chief. So, you know, he's not even got the respect to be in charge. Right, so... Uh, where do we go from here? Up here. Cool. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. We get the ski on. We get out of here safe and sound. And we get our money from Miss Jack Lee Nettler. From Nettler Technologies. Creator of all things bright and beautiful. Etc. Etc. But, of course, you know, I'm sure most of you know, things don't go as smoothly as we would like. It's just the way life is when you're a tomb raider. And you'd be raiding tombs and whatnot. But, you know, we, we've been hired to do a job, damn it. We shall do it. And whatever's thrown at us, we will deal with it accordingly. Right. Uh... Do I need to open? There's like a shortcut now. Oh, it's already open. Okay. Don't know when that opens, when it activates, but... Right, we can pull this lever back then, because I didn't need to pull it the first time. That's it, and then I can get up there then. Yeah. Um, yeah, so obviously Koalapek is one of three rulers of Atlantis. Um, and there are two more, who we will discuss later on. Dun, dun, dun. We won't say anything more about them at the mo. Uh, but yeah, it's all about Koalapek. He is the co-chief we are dealing with currently. 
Right. Nice. Uh, I'll probably be saving a bit more on this level. Like, I haven't really saved that much. I've been quite reckless. But there's a couple of, like, things here that... There could be a silly death. We've not died yet. But this could be the level we die. Because there's a couple of, like, things that I could just stupidly kill myself with. Like, spikes being the main worry. <laughs> okay. And then... Can we get up this way? No, of course not. I'm going to go back down here and then pull the lever again so that this one's nearer the other one and then that's this puzzle or whatever room done and then the other two are fine we're basically trying to open three gates um and yeah each one of these little the, the rooms we're in opens a gate it has a lever that opens a gate so this is the first gate we're opening the other two gates that we're going to open are like they're, they're ridiculous man it's like they built this room and go like, Koala Pit went, oh, I want three gates, and people have to do these little puzzles to get to them, and only then will they be worthy of getting the ski on. Okay, well, we've done this really elaborate uh, puzzle with platforms. Oh, that's really good. What should we do with the other two? And then they just phoned it in. Oh, well, this one can have a crumbly floor in front of it. What? But the, the, the first guy did a puzzle platform thing. That's what it is. They had three different builders, and two of them were lazy, but the one that did this one actually put effort in. <laughs> that's my theory. We'll see more as we do them. Right, now, these spikes, last time I played this, I died to these spikes. Not on this jump, it was on the way out, I foolishly landed on them. So, I don't want to save now or after I do, you know, I will save now. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd be annoyed if I died <laughs> on spikes. Of, of all things, the first death being spikes. Actually, it is probably going to be a trap, the first death, or, or fall damage. All right, Bonesy, we saw your brother on level one. You've come a long way. You got further than he did. Right. So this is the lever for the first gate. And obviously we're going to do the other two next, which are, like I say, significantly easier. However, we have just activated a raptor. For some reason. I don't know why. Right, this is where I died last time. I, I didn't... For some reason, I went to jump out here. And Lara didn't jump at all. And I just ran off the edge. <laughs> don't know why. Anyway, I did it there. That's fine. So, yeah. I'm kind of paranoid about that. Yeah, that first gate has activated a raptor. The other two don't activate raptors, if I don't remember. But I don't know why this gate does. I don't know why this raptors took it so personal. But we won't use the shotgun for this one. Come on, you bastard. Come to Craig, David. Come on, die, die quicker. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like that. I like their little dramatic uh, death, like the very Shakespearean death. Ooh, shot. Right, let's go to this one. Continue left to right. Um, yeah, well, I, can't, I can't remember which one this is. Oh, yeah, this is the uh, crumbly floor one. That's a nice bit of art. Imagine having that in your house. How did that look in the... Oh, yeah, it looked all right. Yeah, let's nick that. Let's take it with us. Now, the ski on's quite easy to nick that, not so much. Yeah, so this floor here crumbles away, so you go to pull the lever and then the floor breaks, but... Yeah. And down there, we have wolves. Can't remember how many. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love that little sound. It just sounds like Homer Simpson was doing a wolf impression to me. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, okay. So there was three. There was three. Confirmed. Right. Um, looks like they've been snacking on this dude. How long have they been down here? They only had one dude. Oh, no, hang on. There's another guy over here. I can't imagine if they've been down here for ever how long. How are they getting food? They've had two humans. Maybe they've just rationed him. Them. Very slowly over the last however many years. I don't know. Good on them. Good on them. Right, so. We need to move this block. This is the uh, the puzzle <laughs> to get to the lever in this area. See what I mean? They just phoned it in. Uh, I, I, if I was Qualipak, I'd have been well pissed. If uh, Oh, shit. Okay, got to walk round. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think I said this in the last part. Um, in fact, I know I didn't. You see, the, the wolves' eyes are glowing. That was a patch they did the other day. And I just looked at the patch notes. Um, 
obviously didn't really notice it uh, <laughs> in the last part. But yeah, they made the one of the things they added was that the animals eyes glow uh, same with like some lions in the uh, some levels coming up so yeah nice little touch i like it i mean this is the uh, i only filmed filmed <laughs> it was on set yesterday i think there's a medikit down here i only recorded <laughs> um the last part yesterday um but I enjoyed it so much, I wanted to come and record this part, like, literally the next day. Normally, I wait, like, a week in between parts, but I'm really enjoying playing this um, for the channel. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying watching it. Like I say, I was just eager to come back on it, and I know this level's quite short anyway. So, oh, we got another medikit. Back-to-back medikits. So, yeah, I thought I'd get on it. So, here we are. Right, so this is the second lever. So that's uh, two down, one gate to go. I'm hoping as well that um, obviously doing these levels for this uh, this playthrough, I want to do them as many times as I can because one of the trophies I've got to do is uh, there's like a speedrun trophy. You've got to beat the game in under, I want to say it's five hours. So I need to get more familiar with these levels. So the more I play them, obviously, the quicker I'm going to be. Not that I'm trying to rush through it for this playthrough. Obviously, for YouTube, I want to take my time and sort of explore... But it just means I become more familiar with them, so when I do get to do the speedrun, I can just rush through them. Well, obviously, when I'm doing the speedrun, I'm not going to be picking up every single secret or pickup or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going to be running to the end of the level uh, as quickly as I can. So, yeah, uh, this is the final little room. And uh, this one is like the, the biggest piss take. Although I'm going to save here because there's an opportunity for a stupid death here. Uh, the floor crumbles here and there's spikes, so we could land on them. Um, yeah, so I'll drop a save just in case. I should be fine. I'm always paranoid, though, that when I try to jump over the spikes, because the ceiling's so low, that I'm going to bang my head when on the jump back and then land in the spikes. That's my that's my fear. I don't think it's ever happened to me, but that's the what I'm scared of. <laughs> More than anything in the world. Right, see, the spikes down there. S see what I mean? Like, I mean, obviously I made it, but... Yeah, don't want to land. I see him better in 96. Or you you could if the camera would look down there, but apparently... Oh, you know what spikes look like. You've played Sonic. Plus there was some in the other room. You should know what they look like. Anyway, that's all three gates done. So, yeah, see what I mean there? That platform one actually required effort. So you imagine you've got three builders. I want you to build me three rooms guarding these three gates to the ski on. Oh, here's my room. Oh, brilliant. Platforms. Oh, this is going to be like really difficult. All oh, this spikes. This is great. What about you, Bert? What's your room consist of? You've got to push a block and then jump. Oh, fuck off, Bert. You'd be well pissed if you were Koala Pick. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I'll see again. More traps, more arrows. And our first secret of the level, and second secret, are here behind that very, like, <laughs> camouflage door. Oh, shit. Yeah, you've got to get close to that, like, the arrow thing. The dart shooter, whatever. And here we go. So, yeah, obviously more crumbly floors. Places littered with them. And some shotgun shells. There is actually a trophy for step on and break every crumbly bit of floor in the game. Right, let's uh, activate that and back. Because the final secret... Uh, final. Sorry, the next secret is a bit annoying. Well, it's not really annoying, but it's risky. Don't know whether to save. I think it'll be fine. Right, so... You've got to drop down here, and as you can see, there's spikes. But if you go right up against the wall, let go. And here we go. So, more ammo. Um, right. So, yeah, one more secret. Four more pickups. Okay. I doubt there's four items at the next secret. But we'll see. Right, so as you can see, we're in quite the, the pickle. But it's fine, because if you walk, um, you can get through the spikes with no issue. You will, Well, no issue. You'll take a bit of damage when you jump up and leave here. But just a little bit. A little bit more than what a raptor bite does to you, apparently. I watched some uh, gameplay like um, of this uh, a little while back. Before. No, it was when, I, when it first came out. And I saw someone play this level, and they went in that room, did the spikes. 
And once they got the secret, they just ran out and took shitloads of damage, like running through the spikes. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. I thought everyone knew that if you walk through spikes, you don't take much damage. You know, it's a fact. Anyway, here we are. The Skion. And here is Koala Peck. Almost sounds like you're saying Koala Pick, doesn't it? Like a picture of a koala bear. But he's no bear. He's the co-chief of Atlantis. And he's got his little guardians with him. One of them's still alive, if you look. See this dude? Watch his head. He follows us as we move around the room. Like a nosy git. Whereas this guy, he died. God knows how long ago. But uh, this guy, very loyal. He's still guarding the ski on. But so, fuck him. Not that he does anything, but we can kill him. There we go. But, uh, yeah. It's worth a trophy, but I've already got it, obviously. And here we are. The Skion. Right, before we pick it up, because all fucking hell breaks loose when we do, we will save again. Because there's another opportunity for a stupid death here. We've got it! Okay, right. We need to get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the fuck happened then? Okay, we'll just uh, ignore that. <laughs> right, and now, if we hadn't activated that boulder at the start of the level, this is where it would have, like, been annoying because it would have come after us and we got further to run. Right, and this room, now the ceiling's going to be falling because the builders here are obviously very shoddy builders. Right. I can't remember. I think if you bear left and then sort of swing round. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, we're out, we're out. See, that's why I saved, because it's, it, I have been killed by the, the roof falling on my head before. <laughs> so, yeah. Better to be safe than sorry. Right, and now we're back in the Lost Valley level. And this has opened up now, which is our final secret. And I can't remember how many goodies are here. Oh, the ski on would have counted as a pickup, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, so... We've got, uh, what, two in here, and then there's a medikit that um, we can get. So, yeah, that'll be all the pickups. So we should be all good. Oh, look at the nice orange sky. Um, yeah. Just wondering whether I should save. I think I will, because we're about to bump into Larson, the dude from the, the start. You know the one who says, uh, Jack Lee and Natla does of Natla Technology. That guy. Yep, he's about to show up. There's his health bar. And he is rinsing us underwater. He's shooting us underwater because he has no respect, apparently. Dude, are you ha- Oh, God, you need to kill me. I'm going to have to use my first health kit. Uh, I'll use a small one. Oh, just a small one. Fuck off, mate. Jesus, he's got no respect. That's cheap. Right. We we'll go back this way. The medikit that we got in the last level has respawned, and this should be our final pickup. So yeah, no respect. You don't shoot someone when they're in the water. Wait for me to get out and prepare. Though that being said, I, <laughs> I'm going to try a cheap tactic to beat him now. So you know, I also have no honor when it comes to combat. So I need to get off my high horse, really. But he's asking for it, really. The fact that he took those shots at me underwater. Now, should I play fair? No. That's how I'm going to pull it off. But if you can get behind these guys, like the, the human enemies in this game, it basically their AI is just shit. You can just run around behind them and they're fucked. Right. Let's see if I get close enough. Because his gun does do mad damage. Just need to get behind him, like so. And just sort of stay. Yeah, I'm not really taking any damage. And there we go. We got him. That, that was Larson. <laughs> You have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. And where is that? Ha! You ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? 
I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natlin. Thank you. I will. So there we go, another short level, and we got all the secrets and the pickups again. Don't expect that trend to continue going forward. So from that little cutscene now, we know now that the there's more than one part of the ski on, and Natla has sent someone called Pierre de Pont uh, to go and get another piece of it, but we don't know where he he has gone. We're going to go after him. So what we're going to what Lara does now is she goes to Natla Technologies to go see if she can dig up any information as to the whereabouts of Pierre, so she can track him down and get another piece of the ski on. Located now to St. Francis's folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers, brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiogen, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean Skion, a pendant divided and shared between the three rulers, which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the Creator himself, my toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night, I beat myself rid of these fantasies, but it is indeed a test. Pierre, you litterbug. So there we go, level 5 now, St. Francis Folly, and we immediately need to pause the game because there are enemies right off the bat here. So yeah, so Lara breaks into Natla Technologies, finds this diary of Brother Herbert, who basically says that uh, they're one of the other rulers of Atlantis, Teokin, um, his tomb is underneath St. Francis Folly, which is in Greece by the way. And this is where Pierre has come to get a, another piece of the ski on. So, each ruler of Atlantis, each of the <coughs> co-chiefs of Atlantis has a piece of the ski on. We've got Koalapex, we're now going for this Teokens, and then there's a third ruler who I wonder who that could be. But we'll find out more next time. Um, and we also know that Pierre apparently was eating baked beans, which I thought French people were supposed to have a very sophisticated palate. But apparently not. Not that I'm slagging off baked beans. I love baked beans. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying this playthrough, and I will see you in the next one, whenever that may be. Cheers, guys.